guys. Here's your radiant barrier. So what happens is um, it gets released in the corner and folded down an inch and a half on this side and then an inch and a half on this side. That way there it makes a somewhat of an airtight seal because what we do is we overlap four inches and then we come along and we use this wider tape, this foil, um, nice stuff, and that tapes up all the seams. Um, so you can see the different different ways and to use this radiant barrier. Basically, this is ours here. This uh, six point six. See. Except we have an airspace, but when they tell you to staple it, they don't want you to staple it at the edge of the stud. You go back in an inch or two, and that creates an airspace so the drywall doesn't hit it. That's what we're doing. We're going to come along here and snap a series of lines, uh, 16 on center this way, down. And then what we do is cut out the width of a 2x4, 3.5 inches by the width of the LVL and it makes like a little notch that exposes the LVL and we do is hit that with some urethane adhesive and then we put our 2x4 sleepers this way that makes an inch and a half already away from the drywall and then what we do is run our strapping that way and that gives another three quarters it makes a two and a half inch airspace between the top of the drywall and this foil radiant barrier so it just gives a little bit more R value and helps the overall um, insulation seal. Alright guys, that's it. We're going to put up a row at a time, snap a 4 inch line, and then follow that with the next course until we run to the edge of the room and then fold down the inch and a half on that side too. All sides. Anywhere it meets a corner, it folds down and gets stapled off good. That's it guys. Just a quick one on our foiling. If anyone's interested, um, this is the manufacturer. Alright guys, we'll see as we make more progress. And by the way, it just gets stapled up. We're using three eighths for a regular staple gun. Marking off where our wires are so we know there's wires under there. So once we get our two by fours laid down, there's no issue with wires anymore. That's just so we know. But we knew when we laid the wires out. They were actually in the middle of the 2x4 sleepers. So anywhere near where they go.